Aloha friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another weekend vlog. It is Friday morning. I actually have plans this Friday morning, which I feel like is kind of new for me, but I'm meeting a friend to take a walk and I think this guy, I think he's coming with. I'm excited for y'all to be here with me this weekend because there's a few things I've been saying I want to do that I'm following through with. Things that are like bucket list, growth, stepping outside of my comfort zone types of stuff. Um, one thing's really big that I booked and one thing we're actually gonna get to do together this weekend. I'll explain more when we get to it. I have to put on my shoes and head out to meet the friend for our walk, but I just wanted to make sure to say hello and good morning before the day gets started and it's gonna be a good weekend, I think. We are back from our walk. Oh, you still have energy. I'm kind of surprised because he just went over three miles, which for him is a lot with those little legs, but I'm officially thirsty and tired. And <laughs> I've mentioned these in a few vlogs and I'm so excited because now I am working with Hydrant on this video. I have mentioned that lately I've been parched. Like I've been, so I've been waking up thirsty. I actually, I'm kind of wondering if it has to do with adrenal fatigue at all, but I'm just thirsty all the time. And after working out, it's just a walk, but still, I've been taking these sometimes when I wake up, sometimes after workouts, and I absolutely love them. They are little electrolyte hydrating packets that you mix into water. It's my last one in here, which is kind of a bummer, but I've tried a few different brands of these. If I'm being honest, so many of the other brands are just too sweet. Like they're like a sugary dessert, and I don't want that. I don't want it to be too sweet. So I really like that Hydrant isn't very sweet at all. This one in particular has four grams of added sugar, but they also have some that have no added sugar if that's more your speed. I like a hint of sweetness, just a kiss, not too much. This one is blood orange and I think it's absolutely delicious. It's so good. It's also nice to throw in your bag or your backpack. I took these on my staycation because I always forget to drink water in hotels especially, but you just put one of these in some water. It's really good if the water's cold and you mix it around. And it technically has three times the amount of electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. So less sugar and more electrolytes has been awesome. Having this when I wake up in the morning, I think has really helped me. I have 20% off with code Mikel20 on orders $30 or more for like a one-time purchase. I am on their website right now and this has sodium, magnesium, potassium, and zinc, 25 calories. I found a lot of different electrolyte mixes also have artificial sweeteners we don't need that so i very much appreciate that this doesn't have that as well i don't know if you guys were watching my vlogs about a week ago but austin had a boil notice where all of the water was non-drinkable and you had to boil water at like over 200 degrees for over two minutes before you could consume it which is a lot of work. So I was just drinking less water in general. So these actually really came in handy for A, the water to taste better because the water was tasting kind of funny. And then B, to just keep me a little bit more hydrated. So very much appreciate it. Very much love Hydrant. I've had some questions about it and I'll make sure to link it down below with my code. Yet again, Mikel20, 20% 20 off, orders $30 or more for a one-time purchase. Thanks to Hydrant for partnering with me on this video. Cheers. Can I have a little honest chat with y'all? I, I didn't want to do this yet. I was like, maybe I'll talk about this tomorrow because I wanted to get out and do something fun and lighthearted with y'all today, but I'm just like really feeling it right now. Kind of thrown off my, my plan of events here, but I am so frustrated with my body. So frustrated. It started this last week and I posted this on my Instagram stories and was shocked. Like that one story, I didn't get to read everybody's responses, but had like, 300 responses from people like going through the same thing, but I am emotionally burned out and I was doing so well and I'm so frustrated to feel like now that everything is kind of figured out, my body's just quitting. And I had a few therapists actually reach out and explain that it is very normal. Essentially, I've been living off of like high adrenaline since, for me, things really got bad in August, which August, so for the last seven to eight months, I've just basically been in fight or flight, I guess, and just trying my best to hold it all together and go as hard as I can to figure everything out. And my mom was saying like, now you're, now you're settled. Um, now you're, you know, you feel emotionally safer and logistically safer and your body's probably just now starting to relax and process everything that happened the last eight months. And I think that's exactly what's happening, but I don't want it to. Like, I want to yell at my body, don't slow down now. I, I cannot afford for you to give up on me. And I know I need to be loving and rest 
and let myself process it. Like I just finished physically sorting through all of this stuff and I don't want to have to internally and emotionally sort through all of this stuff. Like why now, <laughs> you know? Uh, coincidentally enough, I also had a doctor's appointment yesterday and didn't really talk much about the emotional kind of stuff. It was more just a checkup appointment with my GP about lupus and everything like that and to be able to get more refills on the medication. And I, I guess he knew more about my life than I thought he did. And he was actually the one who was like, I want to encourage you. He said, I've been through a divorce and I don't have the same health issues that you have, but I remember the adrenal fatigue, like after the first few months, just being absolutely worn out and exhausted and the toll that took on my body physically. And he's like, and that sounds like probably around the same timeline that you might be experiencing this, which is crazy because I didn't even tell him this. And I was having a conversation with my mom about this 48 hours prior. Um, and he was like, I would really encourage you to just work rest into your schedule as much as possible. Anything you could take off your plate right now, do it because otherwise you are delaying the healing that your body now has to physically go through. It could worsen all of your health things and everything like that as well. So it's just been a weird recurring theme that like, my mom brought it up, my doctor brought it up. It's hitting me so much harder than I ever thought it would and I like to feel in control to, so to feel like I'm not in control of my body or the way I'm feeling it has been one of the more frustrating parts of this whole process. I'm feeling it now more than when I was packing up my house to leave California and to leave my whole life behind and that logically makes no sense to me. So I just wanted to share where I'm at and where my heart's at because I don't want to slow down. I know I should slow down, but like I feel like I have nobody to depend on in terms of income, household income, so I can't slow down work. And I enjoy social things. I enjoy feeling like I have a community and a distraction and fun things to get out and do, and I just wish my body would keep up. This is not my most motivational little heart to heart. <laughs> I'm just wanting to be candid and share how I feel because my whole attitude towards sharing my life online has completely shifted and I'm just much more like a, this is what I'm feeling, you know? Thanks for letting me be open about it. There is something of fun that I want to do and I think it will be low effort and low energy. This weekend is Max's birthday. He's gonna be five. Even thinking about that, today is my birthday. <laughs> I want to go try to find him a birthday treat and I found that there's a pet bakery nearby called Wolfgang and I want to check it out and see if we can get him something special. Okay. Let's do something fun. Something lighthearted. That Wolfgang Bakery was so cute. I got Max this big happy birthday cookie for his birthday, but I couldn't resist. So his birthday's on Sunday and I'm vlogging Friday, Saturday. So I figured we could give him another cookie together today. And look at how cute the little cactus was. They came in all sizes, so I got the smallest one because Max is on a diet. Max needs to lose weight according to the vet. And I did not realize that I was right next to or pretty close to this place that I've heard so much about. It's a bakery called Swedish Hill Bakery, but I've heard very mixed reviews. I've had some people say it's really good and other people say it's really not that good. Uh, so I decided to stop in. It's so cute inside. They didn't have any like safe things for me to eat, but they did have coffee. And so I got a latte. I got an iced oat latte with their house made mint syrup. And this ended up being almost nine dollars had i known that would not have gotten it but i haven't tasted it yet i've been saving it to taste it with you so let's see if it's worth it. i can already tell you it's not worth nine dollars let's see how it compares to a normal latte oh it's pretty good actually okay i would pay six dollars for this latte that was including tip though i guess but you know i always tip standard 20% at coffee shops minimum. The caffeine I'm hoping will wake me up and give me a little bit of energy and I'm eager to get, <laughs> I'm eager to get home because my mom texted me and said that there's a surprise for me at my leasing office. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very sweet. So let's go find out. I just got home and look what was at my door. That's so sweet. It must be a Valentine's, which is the sweetest thing ever. 
Tulips are my favorite, and these are little cute little like baby tulips. I'm gonna get them in a vase real quick and get them on display before we give Max his treat. Thanks, Mom. If you're watching this, you made my day, and I love you. Look how cute! I need to pick up my counter, but I love having tulips in the house. And also, let's see if we can give Max his little early birthday treat. Turn this way so everybody can see your reaction. Show everybody how excited you are. Shake, shake, good boy. Happy early birthday. It's edible, I know it doesn't look like it because it's so beautiful. Yep, you got it? Oh, nope, not quite. Let's eat that on the not carpet. How does that sound? Oh, what do you think? Oh, perfect, back to the carpet. That's awesome. <laughs> How is it? How is it, bud? Is it delicious? Just realized that this is giving him a green mustache. If it's making your mustache that green, I think we really should not eat it on the rug. I think we really should not. <laughs> Two quick packages came in the mail that I thought would be fun to open together before. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I think I'm gonna listen to doctor's orders and just rest a little bit more because I am feeling it so much. But it has been so hard to do my makeup without mixing my foundation with my skin tint. So I'm so excited to have a new skin tint. In a vlog recently, I did my makeup routine. See so if you're confused why I mix foundation with this. I'll link that vlog down below where I show like what I do for my makeup every day. And then this, y'all have been so much more invested in my search for the perfect pair of panties than I thought anybody would. So thank you for being so invested. Here we have attempt number three. In case you missed it, I'm looking for the perfect pair of high-waisted, 100% cotton thongs. My verdict so far is the Skims is better than the Nikki, but the Skims still aren't that flattering. I feel like it's too little fabric on the back to where it just, it's just, it's not flattering. So next, we are trying Calvin Klein. These were hard to find. They were sold out almost everywhere, but I found them on ASOS. ASOS? This actually looks very similar to the Skims, except for there is more fabric on the back. The Skims just goes like this. There's like nothing on the back. So I do appreciate that. The white looks very sheer, but it comes in white, black, and gray. Ooh, I like the black. You know the drill. I will wear these for another week or two <laughs> and then update you in a future vlog as to if I like them. So far, this feels like it might be a good contender because I do like the elasticy waistband. It holds things better. Okay, I'm hopeful for these. I'm gonna rest for a little bit. I actually do have a late night tonight. I have plans with some friends from middle school. Um, one of my friends from middle school and his girlfriend. We're all gonna get dinner tonight and we got an 8.30 reservation, which for me is like almost bedtime. So I'm going to do a little bit of computer work and rest up for that tonight so that I can be energized, hopefully. slept and I mean it's nine but I feel like my internal clock is pretty regulated to 7 30 um but last night should have gotten some clips I'm sorry it's just you know living in the moment but I went to dinner with one of my friends from middle school and his girlfriend they're so sweet we did dinner and ice cream and walked around South Congress and I didn't get into like midnight I know I mentioned at the start of this vlog that there was a couple things that were really on my bucket list is it cringy to call it like a single bucket list? Just things that I've really wanted to do that I kind of was like, yeah, that'd be cool, but probably not in the past. And now I'm like, no, why not? Like, let's make it happen. The smaller thing, which we are doing today, is taking a pottery class. 
I'm so excited. I found a pottery studio where you can either take like a, I think an eight week course or you can do a single class drop in. And so I'm gonna start with a single class. I'm going with a friend. I think it's a three hour class. And then you can pick up your piece, whatever you make. Uh, assuming it's any good. Mine probably won't be, but we're here to learn. And a few weeks after they bake it and everything like that. So if I like it, I don't know, maybe I'll sign up for an eight week class. I don't know. And then the big thing, the big, big thing, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, is I wanted to try my first solo travel. And so I booked a trip for April. It's just a week, but we're gonna do two states together. So I figured I'd make it two vlogs, one vlog in one state, one vlog in the other state. One is a big city, one is a tiny scenic town. I am so excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I feel like, uh, what's the word? Imposter syndrome in terms of travel content. Like I'm not a travel YouTuber. Like this is silly for me to even try to create any content traveling but it's something that I wanna do for myself and if I can take y'all along with me, why not? But if it goes well, like if people enjoy it and I can actually financially justify doing it more frequently and like making it a work trip, that would be a dream come true. That is my actual dream come true. Not like making that all of my content, but you know, maybe like every other month, one trip somewhere. Um, so six vlogs a year, you know? That would be a dream. I would love that. But I'm really proud of myself for like actually booking these things instead of just saying, that would be nice. So I don't know what we're gonna do between now and then, because that's an evening class, but I am gonna catch up on a little bit of emails. Self-employed life, I did not work hardly any yesterday, so I'm gonna have to make up for it today, but I love you, good morning, it's gonna be a good day. A game plan has been fully formed for today. I dried my hair and I don't have time to style it, so we'll see the consequences of these actions, but I just saw that my gym has a meditation class starting in, 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I feel like it'll be good for just the way I've been feeling lately. I wanna take some time to prioritize my health day. So I feel like a meditation class and maybe picking up a very veggie filled salad might be good too to get some, you know, nutrients. And then I am meeting my friend before the pottery class. There is a park nearby that apparently has free roaming peacocks. So we're gonna do a little nature walk see if we can find a peacock <laughs> and then go to our pottery class. So that is the plan. Let's go have a good day. Oh my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve all the bad and the hurt. Well, yoga was fantastic. It was basically just super restorative, which is exactly what I need. But then it started raining and then it started hailing and now it's like 40 degrees and peacocks might be off. We might have to see if it stops. I did kind of realize something that I think is affecting me more than I initially admitted to myself. I never know if sharing things like this is TMI, but like I said, I'm in that phase and I'm like, I'm just gonna share it. Today is my ex's last day in our house. He's moving out tomorrow. And so that brings up like good and bad feelings for me. Good feelings in the sense that I have been paying double rent this whole time. So I'm so glad I paid it all up front. We did like six months at once. So I'm so glad that like in my mind, I don't have to be like, I'm essentially paying for two homes right now. I, I can never go back to that house. And like, I can never go back to that phase of life. And um, like that feels finalized and that chapter feels closed, which I think makes me more sad than I wanted to admit. Um, I love that little house. I love that little house so much. It was a dream come true for me. And it's really kind of sad that I only got to live there for like seven months, I think it is. Construction. Construction saying go home and eat your salad. Just wanted to share that with y'all though. We have officially decided it's more of a coffee shop kind of day than a walk in nature kind of day, but we both really want to do that. So we'll do that soon and I'll try to take the vlog with me. So I'm gonna head out, meet her to grab a coffee, and then we're gonna take our first pottery class. I'm excited. <laughs> You're a lonely sailor And you 
soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and grain, and spoiled champagne. I've got troubles, I've got sins, I'm my worst enemy. But I've still got a lot to give So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me Hey, won't you come, won't you come? I'm holding Sumi's birthday in just a few hours! Um, that was so much fun. I actually would love to sign up for a eight week course, but they're not opening one until summer. And they say they like book up in, in 10 minutes of them releasing it. So I'm, I might try. Chances will be slim, but made three bowls. And then I did like a speckle, super light gray glaze. Um, so it'll be like a creamy white color with gray speckles and I'll get to pick it up in like four to five weeks. So excited to see what it looks like. Oh, thank you. It was a good day. It was a really good day. It was a peaceful day. Pottery and meditation, yin yoga, a salad, some max cuddles. It was exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna be listening to my body a little bit more, at least challenging myself too. I've never been great at that. I usually push through things. So that's my goal. That's the mission. Speaking of listening to my body a little bit more too, I wanted to say thanks again to Hydrant for partnering with me on this video. I've been listening to my body. My body's thirsty a lot lately. So that's been really helpful. I'll have my code and my link and everything like that linked down below. You're being so sweet. Um, we are going to make a very late dinner and maybe watch one episode of something before we go to bed. We love you. Thanks for spending another weekend vlog with me. I love you so much. Can't wait till the next time we hang out and I'll see you in the video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?